Good evening. From UCTV News, I'm Henry Wilshire. In the headlines tonight, the selection of the new Pope, continuing on Chuck Hagel, a cook-off at the U, and the organic farm scheduled to reopen for spring. Jorge Mary, uh, Mario Bergoglio, the Archbishop of Buenos Aires, was elected Pope last week. Taking the name Pope Francis, millions of Catholics worldwide rejoiced. Pope Francis is the first Pope from the Americas and the first non-European Pope in over 1,000 years. Pope Francis is said to be known for his humility and was rep has reportedly been forgoing many of the more elaborate aspects of his office. He takes the role after his predecessor, Pope Benedict XVI, stepped down for health reasons last month. In conclusion to a long-running UCTV story, two of President Obama's nominations for top posts have been approved. During the UCTV hiatus, both Chuck Hagel, nominee for Secretary of Defense, and John Brennan, nominee for Director of the CIA, were approved. A filibuster by Senator Rand Paul marked Brennan's nomination. Senator Paul held up the nomination by speaking for over 12 hours in protest of the President's use of combat drones. However, after the end of the filibuster, Brennan was successfully nominated. With her sinus news, here's Kara Bowen. Kara? Thank you, Henry. Ursinus students ate like kings and queens the first Tuesday after break when Ursinus was home to a battle of the chefs. A total of five colleges, including Ursinus, participated. Chefs set up throughout Upper, Upper Wismer and prepared meals and desserts for students to try. Entrees varied from beef burgundy to turkey on a stick and a cup of gravy. After students ate, they were encouraged to vote for their favorite meal. Regardless of who got the most votes, Ursinus students were the real winners since they got to enjoy all that great food. It was announced last week that the UC Organic Farm is scheduled to reopen for the spring season. The farm, located on 9th Avenue next to Hunsberger Woods, contains three acres of land, growing a variety of fruit, vegetables, and herbs. The UC Organic Farm is always looking for volunteers to help plant or even run around with the live chickens on the farm. If any students are interested in getting involved, contact the Organic Farm Student Director, Dean Scott, at d-e-s-c-o-t-t -T, at ursinus.edu for more details. Stupid news with Devin. Thank you, Kara. In other news, we turn to Ivrea, Italy, where 13 people required hospital treatment for being pelted with oranges. That's right oranges. The 13 were a small portion of the nearly 30,000 people who participated in the Battle of the Oranges. This event celebrates stoning and overthrowing of a tyrant several hundred years ago. When you celebrate hard enough, that citrus can wound. Maybe it's time to tone it down a little. And now, here's Marina McCann with Appealing or Appalling. Marina? I'm Marina McCann with our UCTV segment called Appealing or Appalling. We invite a surprise guest to our studio and ask their opinion on an issue. They don't know the issue and their response is unrehearsed. For today's program, we welcome sophomore Jack Meyer. Hi Jack, Hi. and welcome to Appealing or Appalling. Thanks for having me. Please tell us a little about yourself. Uh, my name is Jack Meyer. I'm a sophomore here at Ursinus College. Uh, I'm an American Studies major with a media concentration and a minor in art history. Oh, very nice. So Jack, What's your view on the campus event, Ball at the Bellevue? Appealing oh. or appalling? Oh. And also, can you tell our viewers a little bit about Ball at the Bellevue? Sure. Um, first of all, <coughs> appealing in every sense Great. of the word. Uh, it was wonderful. I went uh, over the weekend on Friday night, and I knew nothing about the Bellevue Hotel. I assumed it was somewhere outside of Philadelphia. But it's right in center city Philadelphia, and it's this beautiful, ornate building, right? And we all ascended the marble staircase, and there's a, a Palm restaurant right on the left-hand side of the lobby, which is a very famous restaurant there, too, uh, in Manhattan. This was a huge surprise to me. Uh, it was wonderful. We all got dressed to the nines, and uh, we had a wonderful time. There was great music. They had hors d'oeuvres. We were all co-mingling with you know, all of our friends. Uh, and it was just wonderful to sort of take all of us out of our you know, regular everyday routine, sure. get us all dressed up and just have a wonderful night on the town. It was, it was great. And why do you think uh, this is such an appealing event here at Ursinus? Oh, because it's at such a special place, right? The Bellevue, it's, just, uh, it's, it's a wonderful experience for anyone to go to. Uh, and I think for Ursinus students, it's particularly nice. It's sort of like a prom in college, you know? Great. Well, Minus that's, the high school drama. Well, that's a very interesting view, Jack. And thank you for joining us today on UCTV. Thanks for having me. Filling in for UCTV's health and science anchor, Renee Tornea, here's Sydney Rotman. Sydney? Thank you, Marina. Scientists at the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva are now almost certain they have located the Higgs boson, sometimes referred to as the God particle. 
After extensive testing, the researchers say that they have determined that what they have observed matches the proposed particle's motion. This is a major milestone in particle physics because a number of theories hinge on either the existence or non-existence of the Higgs boson. Back to you, Henry. Thank you, Cindy, for that interesting report. From all of us here at UCTV, thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week for all new segments, as well as surprise performances and guests. Who will you see on TV? Good night, Ursinus.